We're now joined with uh, Richard in the studio. Welcome along to the show. Welcome back to us here at BFM. Thank you, Dan. It's a pleasure to be back, and thank you for having us. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the uh, Mad Larks introduction? Well, yes. I mean, when I spoke to you last year, I said it was one of the things on my to-do list was to... Uh, try and form a drama group on the yeah. island and we've managed to do that and we've successfully done at least two productions already and we're really into rehearsing our productions for next year um there are spirited group of amateurs uh, well, with professional tendencies they have a great energy and a great um fire in them and they just they just go ahead and they do it and and that's that's what the club's all about the group's all about you come along you can be on stage if you want to you don't have to sort of wait in the wings or anything that we push everybody up and we try and get them to do as much as they can and they have a lot of fun doing it and then richard i know you're gonna perform a couple of poems now yes we are daniel first off do pirates favor marigold read by linda Written by Jeff Reed, this year's Bursary Award winner. Do pirates favour marigolds when they do the washing up? Do they drink their tea from old tin mugs or a saucer with a cup? Do they always become excited at splitting someone with their hook? Or do they ever yearn for a nice night in with cocoa and a book? And when their diet of hardtack biscuit has finally taken its toll, the sign on the heads reads vacant and there's dust on the toilet roll and glumly shaking their beards they say oh, I wish I could have a poo Do they sometimes choose the korma or is it always the vindaloo? Oh it must be so hard being a pirate and always being tough burping at the table, smirking and all that other naughty stuff I'm pleased to be just a part-time pirate at this fancy dress birthday bash to take off my boots at the end of the day and all the other nautical trash. And as the sun sets over the yard arm and once again I'm just me, there is a question I keep asking because I still feel all at sea. Do pirates favour marigolds when they do the washing up? Do they drink their tea from old tin mugs or a saucer with a cup? And now Richard will read The Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. Twas brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wabe. All mimsy were the border groves, and the mome rats outgrabe. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that snatch. Beware the chub chub bird, and shun the frumious bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand, long time the manxome foe he sought. He rested he by a tum-tum tree, and stood a while in thought. And as in a fish thought he stood, the Jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tulgy wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumphing back. And hast thou slain the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. Oh, fraptious day, Kaloo Kalei! He chortled in his joy. Twas brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wabe. All mimsy were the border groves, and the mome rats outgrabe. Uh, we're talking to um, another two members. They're going to be reading um, a piece just in a minute. But I know you wanted to um, introduce yourselves first. Yes, hi, this is Stefan Pat, and we're going to be reading a sailor he that Pat wrote. My name is Sally. I be a maid. From morn till night I slave. I scrub the floors, I shine the copper. Whilst dreaming, I am a lady proper. But still, I know this will never cease. My life is drudgery, grime and grease. I fear my man, a sailor he, has troved his love, but not just to me. In many ports he woos another, with fancy clothes and fancy other. Cause she has finery, wealth and pose, and I have nothing except these clothes. 
But still I love him, that sailor he, and I will fight for this man for me. My name is Prudence, a lady I be. I don't have to work, my life is free. With silk and satin, lace and more, I don't have to scrub the floor. And my carriages, I have two or three, and daddy's allowance he gives to me. I fear my man, a sailor he, has chose his love, but not just to me. In other ports he woos another. With fancy clothes and fancy other, cause she has finery, wealth and pose. And she has nothing but those clothes. But, but still, still I love, love him, that, that sailor, sailor he, and, and I, I will fight, fight for this man for me. me. We're joined with um, another one of those members. Um, John, I know you're firstly going to um, start off with um, telling us that you're um, nearing the end of your first year. Yeah, that's right. We are nearing the end of our first year. We've had a couple of very interesting productions, um, including comedy, drama and prose. We've got another one coming up in the Easter, for which it's got some really interesting characters in it. Uh, we've got the Eighth Dwarf Farty. Um, and we've also got Tinkerbell, which is, well, Tinkerbell's big brother, B-R-U-V-V-E-R, -V -V -E you know, proper yep. Michelin man. And obviously Rose, who's going to be uh, the chicken that laid Humpty Dumpty. So that's definitely going to be an up and coming, looking forward to. We've also got another play on the way uh, called Was It All Worth It, which is going to be a very, very passionate drama, basically. It's going to be quite um, rough. <laughs> um, it's, it's quite personal to me. It's about a person I used to know. He was... Um, didn't have a very easy life. Uh, moved from where I used to live, moved down to um, Hackney Way, and got into trouble with some very wrong people. Um, he met a nice girl, a lovely girl, called Clara. Clara, if you're listening. Um, and unfortunately, the night she was going to give birth, he, uh, he got shot whilst being mugged. Um, but I won't give away too much about it. But when you come and see it, it's going yep. to be great. Uh, I've got a little poem here I'm going to read right. about it. Uh, the poem's called Passion, and this is it. Passion. It's the source of our finest moments, the joy of love, the clarity of hatred, the despair in the smallest lie, the shine in the mildest truth, and the ecstasy in grief. It hurts sometimes, more than we can bear. If we could live without passion, maybe we would know peace. But we would be hollow, empty rooms, shuttered dark and dank, nothing to name you human, without passion we would truly be dead. Now, I understand you're developing some uh, workshops, Richard. We are indeed, Daniel, uh, so everybody else can have as much fun as we're having as well. Um, we're developing workshops for early next year. They'll be free and open to anyone who wants to come along, and they'll actually involve performing on the stage. We'll coach you in voice projection, which is one of the most important things, because if the people up the back can't hear you, then it's a waste of time, no matter how beautiful you look. Uh, we'll have some improvisation, how to actually use the stage, be a presence on the stage, not just sort of hiding away in the wings and things like that, but actually sort of taking command and you're out there and people are looking at you. Then we'll have, uh, we'll talk about lighting, costumes, set design, and you know, we're hoping that people will come along, try these workshops, have a really good time, and perhaps stay with us and, and join in our next production. Um, it, we, we have a philosophy, as you know, of um, anyone who wants to do something can do something. You don't have to sort of come along and then wait three months before you get a part. If you want a part, you can have one. We're now joined with uh, Steve and Sally. Uh, Steve's a new member and uh, Sally's a, um, a founder member of the Medlar Drama Groups. Um, what is it like to be a member? It's fantastic. <laughs> I love every moment. <laughs> No, it's been really good fun, actually. I joined at a bit of a low ebb in January when it all kicked off, and I've had quite a good fun year with them. It yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. I mean, I, this is only like my uh, third meeting with the guys. Um, I was in that performance as well. Um, as you could probably hear, I still have a lot to learn. But uh, I feel that once they get to know me and I get to know them better, then obviously my performances will change and I'll enjoy myself a little bit more. Uh, Richard, are you looking for new members? Yes, Daniel, we're always keen to encourage new members. If anyone out there has heard what we've done tonight and enjoyed it and would love to come and do something themselves and join in our performances, we, 
we'd love you to come along. Um, you can be an actor, an actress, or, or behind the scenes. I mean, there is so much that goes on on the theatre behind the scenes that makes the actors look good. There's costumes, lights, sound, sets. So, yes, we're always looking for new members. And uh, who supports you? Well, mainly it's the enthusiasm of our members and their friends. They keep us going. It's like one big family. And yes, we have our fights occasionally. But that aside, we have to stress that it is with the continued support and encouragement of the Sheppy Little Theatre Committee that Mudlarks has been able to succeed. And um, We'd like to thank the audiences too, because without them, <laughs> well, we'd have no one to perform to. Uh, Richard, when do you meet up? Right. We meet Monday evenings at the Sheppy Little Theatre. We've broken up for Christmas now, but we'll be starting back on the 3rd of January, 7.30pm to 9.30pm, every Monday night. And you can come along and visit us, see what we're like, and hopefully stay and join in the fun. Um, you can contact us or find out things that we're doing in a variety of ways. We have a Facebook page, all very modern. Um, just look up Mudlarks, spelt M U D D. L A R K S. You can phone me 0791 861 0742, or you can even email me Richard underscore that's the little line at the bottom J E F at hotmail.com. Any time at all, if you've got any questions or anything about the group or just want to find out about us or when our next performance is, and we'd love you to come along and see us. Other than that, I'd like to thank Daniel for having us on tonight. Wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I think John would like to thank his mum and family as well. Richard, thank you for coming along. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you very much. That's Richard and the Madlarks Drama Group this evening here at BRFM on the Monday Night Community Show. <laughs>